What's going on, boys? It's Nines here. We're back with another video, and today we're going to be going over everything that released for Madden 23 Mutt. Obviously, you guys are seeing this on 8-2, so you're already going to see the top 10 safeties and the top 10 cornerbacks, but I'm recording this on 8-1. We're going to try to record the uh, safeties and cornerbacks on the following days, so you guys are going to see the top 10 running backs, all those cards that were released, and I'm going to give you guys a couple thoughts. There's also a lot of speculation going on here that power-ups might be gone. So I'm also going to go over that as well. So before we get into this video, you guys have been killing it lately with the views and I want to interact with you guys a little bit more. So before we get into this video, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Question of the day is going to be what Madden was your favorite mutt? Leave it down below. We'll do this every video of questions and I will respond to you guaranteed. But let's get into this NFL season coming up very, very soon. Be sure to go into Underdog Fantasy and use code SNODS to double up to $100 on your first deposit. Use code SNODS. A link will be in the description. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and go over each of these individually. This is one through 10. Derrick Henry still sitting on top at an 88 overall. And Jonathan Taylor is at second. A lot of people are saying that Jonathan Taylor should be getting the 88. I disagree. Derrick Henry has been much more consistent, and that dude was on a path to head one of the best seasons ever until he got hurt. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, we cannot disrespect him. He had an amazing year last year, but I can see why they gave him an 87. He hasn't consistently been doing this since he's been in the NFL, but if he has another season like that, he's definitely going to get that 88 overall. 86, we've got Nick Chubb. I think that's good. Dalvin Cook at 85. Christian McCaffrey at 84. This shocked a lot of people. Uh, he really went down from an 87 to an 84. And I think this is good because, actually not good. I think this is accurate because he hasn't really played much. And he hasn't really done much. So yeah, I think he is definitely deserving of a downgrade. And I think 84 is perfect. We got Alvin Kamara at 84. Austin Eckler, Joe Mixon, Najee Harris, and Cordero Patterson. Honestly, to me, I don't see any snubs on here. A lot of people are saying Zeke should be in this list. I don't think so. He hasn't really, he's pretty much been getting worse every single year. Uh, I do think Zeke is still going to be an elite. I see him at like an 81 or an 80, but let's go ahead and look at these individually. So starting out at 82, we've got Cordero Patterson. 82 speed with 78 catch. This is, this was Probably going to be a decent card. We all know how that Cordell Patterson played last year at an eight, uh, 90 overall. He was an absolute beast. So happy to see this for Cordell Patterson. Next, we've got Najee Harris. Najee Harris is listed as a power back. That's interesting to me. But you notice a lot of these cards, they're all very, very similar in speed. Speed has been adjusted this year. And you're not going to see any halfbacks with really, really high speed. I think the highest speed right now is going to be that 87 overall Barry Sanders. So 82 speed, it might look low, but it's it's honestly just average right now. Joe Mixon here, another 82 speed. To me, I feel like this was a bit of a snub. I thought Joe Mixon was going to be an 85 or something like that. This dude had an amazing year this past year, but you hate to see it. I wish to see him at an 85, but he's still a decent card. This is Austin Eckler, 84. He's listed as an elusive back. I see him more as an, a receiving back, but I don't know. Decent card. He's got really good catching for a halfback. He's up there with Christian McCaffrey. Good card. Next is Alvin Kamara, the receiving back. 73 catching with 83 speed and 82 acceleration. This is an all-around decent card. I This is not a bad card day one. And 84 Christian McCaffrey. He's pretty much all-around good except for his... Uh, trucking very very low 53 overall <laughs> i don't know what's going on with that but not a bad card next dalvin cook speed starting to go up a little bit 84 speed 83 acceleration pretty good card 84 break tackle as well dalvin cook next is for my cleveland brownies 86 overall nick chubb this card it's a good overall it'll be a good pull if you pull him but this i don't know i don't think this is going to be a good card at all Nick Chubb cards early on in the year are pretty slow, and I don't know. I just don't see this working out very well. Also, what do you guys think about the card art? I feel like the pictures are really, really bad. They're really, really basic looking, but everything else around it looks good. Uh, yeah, not sure how I feel about these elite cards this year. And then we've got the 87 Jonathan Taylor, 85 speed, 
84 acceleration with 86 break tackle. It's going to be a really, really good card for you early on in the year. And then, of course, last but not least, the 88 overall Derrick Henry. Absolute beast. This is crazy, though. He's an 88 overall, and his speed's an 84. This shows you what they're doing with the speed this year. Let's go look at the Derrick Henry that came out at the beginning of the year of Madden 22. We're looking at Derrick Henry last year, and his speed was an 86 overall. And a lot of things are looking a little bit different. But, uh, yeah, you can tell they're doing a lot with the speed. I like that they're going to pace themselves with the speed. Reason why is because I feel like 99 speed in Madden 22 was way too easy to attain. A lot of players in the beginning of Madden 22, like Jamar Chase, came out with a 91 speed right off the rip. That is way too high. So I really like where they're going with this. Also, I, I'm sure everyone notices here. If everyone looks right here at the bottom right, we've got a training upgrade icon. If we go back to the Derrick Henry in Madden 23, we notice that that upgrade symbol is completely absent from this photo. Now, I'm sure most of you guys already knew this, but there's a lot of speculation. No one really knows if they made a mistake. Is there something in the works? Is training going to be completely gone? Power-ups, is that just not going to be a thing anymore? There's all kinds of things going up in the air right now. I'll give you guys my opinion. I don't know. If, if they get rid of power-ups... I feel like EA is losing out on a lot of money because power-ups, they cost a lot of coins early on in the season. And I don't know. I just feel like EA is not the type to let money run out of the door. So if they get rid of power-ups, there's definitely something else on the way that's going to cost us a lot of coins. So I'm kind of nervous about it, but I'm also excited about it because if power-ups are gone, I would kind of like that. But there's no way EA just lets us walk out of the door. There's, They've got to be thinking of something else. Yeah, boys, those are your top 10 running backs for Madden 23. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. I think it's headed in the right direction with them making speed low at first. Um, I still think that Barry Sanders is going to be the fast available, fastest available running back on day one. So you might want to go for him if you use your running back a lot. So we look at this schedule here, 8-2. You guys have already seen this, top 10 safeties and cornerbacks. Uh, we will cover that, and that will come out on 8-3. 8-3, we've got inside linebackers and outside linebackers and defensive ends. 8-4, this is a big one. I think they're going to reveal every one of our questions right here. In this stream, it said some there, somewhere that they're supposed to be revealing the team builders and all that good stuff. Maybe our Mutt Master and the uh, team captains and stuff like that. I think they'll be revealing all of that. But I think there's something else to this stream. I think they're going to answer all of our questions as to why the power-up thing is not there on the cards. I think they're going to reveal something big. If power-ups aren't a thing, I think this is when they're going to reveal it. And they're going to show us something new maybe. So be sure to tune into this special stream. They have not released the time of when they're going to do this so i'm not really sure yet but again you guys are seeing this on 8-2 so they might have released that information already but be sure to tune in on 8-4 and see what's going on we'll also be covering it on this channel as well so be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel turn that bell on and we will definitely cover it and then last but not least on 8-5 they will be covering the tight ends and wide receivers and I do believe that I heard 8-4 on this special stream. They will be covering the quarterbacks as well. So I know I know you guys aren't seeing that on this list. So 8-4, they're probably going to put the quarterbacks out. But boys, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys have been killing it lately. Madden 23, almost here. We've got about 15 more days. Yeah, well, it'll be 14 when you guys see this video. But I'm out of here, boys. Peace.